Today we're going to talk about finite gain in op amps. Here we have an op amp that's connected to negative feedback with the feedback resistor RF and a shunt resistor RI. We commonly know that the voltage gain for this amplifier V out over VI is equal to 1 plus RF over RI. And of course, this is only if the amplifier has infinite gain. In other words, if we're using an ideal operational amplifier. In a real system, our operational amplifier has finite gain, such as the one shown here, and it also typically has a finite frequency response. We're going to model the op-amp circuit with a feedback system where we have forward gain of A of S and a reverse gain of beta. If we were to plug, if we were to solve this feedback loop, we would find that V out over VI with respect to frequency is equal to A of S divided by 1 plus A of S times beta. The question is, what is beta? Well, beta is just given by the feedback circuit, and it is a voltage divider in this case, consisting of RF and RI. We know that V beta divided by V out in this circuit is equal to RI divided by RI plus RF. This is equal to beta. It's the ratio of the return voltage from the output. If we substitute our values for A of S and beta into this equation, we get the following. So we have two terms here. We have a term that we're going to label as the DC gain, and we have a term that is a frequency shaping term. Now you can see that the DC gain uh, is not affected by frequency, it's just affected by the finite gain of the operational amplifier. And the frequency shaping term shows a one-pole response, where our pole is a bit different than it was for just the op-amp. In fact, the pole is a little bit bigger. From this, we can extract a couple of things. This whole DC term here is called the closed loop DC gain. The term in the denominator, beta times A sub zero, is called the loop gain. And the term A sub zero is the DC open loop gain. Okay, in the next set of slides, we're going to look at plotting this on a Bode plot and trying to determine how to figure out, just from a simple Bode plot, what these values are.